Oh, sh**. Hey everybody, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, my name is Dave. This is my 2004 C5 Corvette. So if you're into Corvette content, especially C5 content, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Now, if you couldn't tell, I love the color yellow and we are doing one more thing here to the car to make the interior just a little bit more yellow. First mod on this car is going to be, at least on the interior, we are changing out these black seat belts and we're gonna make these yellow. But in order to do so, we're gonna have to remove these seat belts to send them out. So that involves removing the door sill trim here as well as this trim here and a few bolts along the way so let's get started all right so the only tools you're going to need for this project is some type of plastic interior trim tool a t50 torx there you go t50 and then your choice of uh, ratchet so first thing we're going to need to do is remove this plastic sill piece here um just keep in mind you know like like which way all these plastic pieces are aligned uh this plastic piece is underneath this one and there's four clips that are holding this onto the sill there's one here one around here one in the middle somewhere and one closer to the end this is the passenger side that i already removed so there's the four fasteners that are holding that on so uh we just got to come in here with our plastic trim tool peel this up a little bit and then just start popping these one by one and don't forget about this one once you undo those four uh this will come right out all right so like i said first thing we are gonna come in here just begin pulling this up so there's the first clip already released work your way down and we will get to the second piece there's the second one again the third one's right over here somewhere Easy with it. You don't want to snap any of this stuff. There you go. Fourth one is again over here. Oh, well, there's those four. So the clips are done, and then you just have to slide this piece down and around so now with the door still out of the way we have to get into removing the plastic piece that surrounds your seat belt so let's get into doing that obviously we're gonna have to just move your seat up move that up all the way and then uh, we'll get into removing it and before we move that plastic piece we're gonna unhook the top of the seat belt from here just have to push this little plastic piece in pull that out and that reveals the first T50 Torx bit that you have to remove. All right, and now with that removed, all I'm gonna do is just take this little plastic piece off the seat belt, put this bolt back in here, just so I don't misplace it. And uh, when we come back and put the new belts in, everything will be right there, ready to go. Again, I am showing you the passenger side. There are two clips. There's one up top, one down below. As you can see, these how these clips are angled you just have to pull this plastic piece straight towards the inside of the car that will release those two clips don't don't pull them in a different direction because then you'll end up snapping them so again you can just pull these there's enough room to get in there so the bottom one is already released that feels like yep so Popping this one off. There we go. There we go. So that one's released. There right. we go. Alright, now with this piece released, you just have to fish the seat belt through these slots on here and then also again right there on the bottom so fish those through and then you're left with just the seat belt and this trim piece will be out of your way now that trim is out of the way and we are left with just your seat belt now this is clearly labeled driver's side um so you can't you know once you get these back you're not going to mix these up so there are again some t50 torx bolts 
There's one there. I am flipping you upside down, so I apologize for that. And there's another one right down there. So you just have to undo those uh, two bolts, and then you are good to uh, take the seat ball assembly all the way out. All right, so now that bolt is out. And then this top piece just slides up and out of the way. And then now all we have to do is now do the bottom one. Alright, so now that bolt is released. And you gotta do the same thing here. Just pull this up. And now that is your whole seat belt ready to pull out. Alright guys, now those are the two belts out. Obviously, once you do the driver's side, repeat that same process to get the passenger side out. And like I said, you can't mix these up later on down the road. Clearly, driver's side seat belt, passenger side seat belt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be sending these out to Safety Restore. Uh, they're a company out of Massachusetts. There's a few companies around. There's one in Oklahoma and another one out in California. At least when I did a quick search, those are the three that I found. Since I'm here in New Jersey, and I kind of want these back relatively quick. Um, and minimal shipping for me. I am sending these to Safety Restore because, again, they're in Massachusetts, so pretty close to New Jersey. Um, hopefully, I get these back within a week. Right, I'm going to leave a link down in the description to their website. So, all they require you to do is obviously take your seatbelts out, ship them to them, select the color of seatbelt that you want, and they will reweb your entire seatbelt with the new seatbelt color. And then for me, I'm going to be choosing yellow seatbelts, but again, you can choose pretty much any array of color um, that you want. Um, obviously, since my car is yellow, I'm going to be going with yellow seatbelts. Should hopefully look pretty good on the inside, and at least that will begin my interior modifications that I'm doing to the car. So yeah, we will pick this video back up again in hopefully about a week or so, and uh, I'll show you the new seatbelts. Alright boys, we are back. Not even a week later, we got some yellow seatbelts. I had to plug, I had to of course put the driver's side in already. There it is. Love it. I know, hey, you know what? The yellow doesn't match. I knew that going into it. I'm fine with that. Um, when I do the rest of the interior things, the yellow is going to be the same color as those yellow seatbelts. So I am fine with the mismatch. So don't give me any shit. All right, guys. So like I said, seatbelts are back. Now, one thing I just want to point out to everybody, especially, I mean, most of you here probably have C5s. When I sent these in, Safety Restore says that each belt is $75. But each belt being $75 only includes one uh, retractor, detractor, whatever you actually call these things. So they actually emailed me and, and sent me a text and called me saying that, hey, your seatbelts have two per seatbelt. So it's not $75 per belt. And instead of being only $150 for both the passenger and the driver's side, it came out to $240. Now, I'm not sure uh, why it was a little bit lower than 300. I would have thought it would have been 300 because they did tell me, oh, it's $75 per uh, detractor. Um, so that would have been like $300. But in, it came out to 240 instead of 150 Maybe because it was on one belt. Maybe they gave a little bit of a discount. I don't know. I'm just letting you know that that's what happened to me. I'm not sure what the C6s have. I know a bunch of you guys have C6s. I don't know if you only have one or if you have two. Uh, if somebody can drop a comment down below that has a C6. Maddie, I know you're going to be doing this relatively soon. So maybe if you pulled your belts out, uh, just let everybody know if there's one or two of these in there. And then I just want to also point out just that the quality of these belts is excellent. I mean, this is, you know, all the stitching that they did. Definitely like equivalent to OEM. Looks like a new belt, looks like a new buckle, right? I mean, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't like actually document what my buckle looked like. Uh, that looks like it's brand new though. Uh, they cleaned up all these retractor, detractors, whatever these are called. They cleaned them up. Uh, I, I remember these being pretty dusty and dirty. So they definitely cleaned them up, cleaned them up before they put the belts in. Um, obviously same with this one over here. So uh, let's get, to putting these in i'm not going to go too in depth with this uh, i went pretty in depth with how you took them out essentially they go back in um obviously the, the same way that we took them out just in reverse one thing before we actually put the belts in one thing you want to be mindful for is a lot of dirt does collect right in here and then obviously in here too so especially if you're going to get new obviously if you're doing this you're probably getting new colored belts uh just clean these areas make sure your hands are always clean because you don't want to get dirt on your new seat belts 
ask me how I know. All right, so we're gonna start on the bottom. I'm gonna take the bolt out. This is the bolt that I put back in just so I wouldn't misplace it. Then you're gonna take your seat belt. You're gonna take the bottom piece here. Again, this only goes on one way um, when you look at this. So you don't have to worry about doing this backwards. I mean, if you flip it upside down, it just won't go in. So slide this in. That latch is down. And then all you have to do now is just tighten this bolt up and, and you'll be good to go. So then again, you just want to take this, make sure your, your belt's not twisted up and all that. And that goes right in, just like so. I'm going to clean my hands off dirt on before I touch the belt accidentally. Alright, and then now to get this last piece on, again, take this bolt out. If you remember, this plastic piece went on to the black piece here first, so just snap that back on there before you put your bolt in. Alright, screw that back in. Alright, so again, this is the plastic piece that went like so. Again, I'm just cleaning this off. Just so my fingers don't get too dirty, which you know they kind of did. So just want again, want to make sure your fingers don't get too dirty when you're doing this, because that's the one bad thing about yellow seat belts is they will show the dirt. So let's get this back in. We just gotta remember like which way everything went, right? So this top piece went underneath this trim piece. It sat flush on here, and then the next trim piece came on top. So we just gotta be cognizant of that. All right, so there you go. This trim piece up front went underneath the top trim there all this snapped together nicely none of this is is loose and rattling and moving. I mean it's a little loose but that's just because you know that's that's GM for you but it's nothing looser than it normally is and then one last little tip if you are on their website and if you load into your cart two seat belts because you have to do if you have two seat belts you have to put two belts in your cart when you do that if you click back onto their home page after you're already in the shopping cart you'll get a little pop-up that says subscribe to our newsletter and you'll get 15% off. So I subscribe to that newsletter. Of course, I unsubscribe from it like right away. But they send you a 15% off coupon code and I got 15% off the entire order. So that 15% off pretty much like covers their shipping back to you. Now, once you do ship these out to Safety Restore, they do get them done really, really quick. Um, I sent them out on Monday and I already got an email on Tuesday that, hey, we received them. And that's when I got that little email saying, hey, you owe us a little bit more money. But then they finished them on Wednesday, they shipped them out on Wednesday, and I got them back on my doorstep on Friday. So less than a business week's worth of turnaround, I already got my seatbelts back in the car. Yeah, so that's going to do it. It was 20 minutes to take the belts out, another 20 minutes to put the belts back in. It takes about a week, week and a half maybe, depending on where you live as far as you know how long it takes uh, to get your belts back. But so far, love it. Couldn't be happier. Of course, again, they got any color you want. And it definitely helps to modernize the C5 interior, especially with all these guys with their C8 videos. And a lot of them seem to have yellow seat belts. So it made me a little jealous, but now I got my yellow seat belts. So if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.